Welcome back, Foulmouth Fishing. Uh, it's time, October. Uh, happy Halloween to all you out there. Hope you're uh, gonna spend this Halloween as safe as possible. But uh, today, we got our MTB for October. Um, long awaited, anticipated. So uh, let's crack into it and uh, see what we got for uh, this 2020 October's Mystery Tackle Box Elite Edition. Now, <clears throat> I've seen a, a posting of another uh, YouTuber's Elite, and um, surprisingly, it looks a lot like what I got last month. And last month, I saw a lot of Mystery Tackle Box Elites that didn't look anything like mine. So that's the cool thing about MTB is uh, not everybody is going to get the same box regardless, um, even if you're in the same tier. Uh, but hopefully the lures will subject you to things that you might not otherwise throw. Um, it gives you a chance to, you know, extend and expand your horizons in your uh, bait and tackle supply and your styles, be it finesse or power fishing or what have you. So uh, that's always a good thing about MTB. As always, we got our what's in the box card right off the top. Uh, today we've got two, four, six, eight, nine items. Good lucky number nine. Uh, nine items uh, in today's MTB Elite for October. We get our Dibbles Digest, which is our little hint, tip, tactic kind of a pamphlet. Uh, jerk baits and land uh, three jig heads that will help you land more bass. Um, definitely the fall transition right now. You're looking at the water temperatures dropping. Your overnights are staying cooler, which means the water temperatures will start to progressively get cooler. And that transition period from fall to winter starts stirring that thermocline up. And actually right now, what you're going to have to start looking out for is definitely get that spinner bait, top water bite, uh, jig head bite right now as the water's starting to flip. Um, I call it the, 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 the fall flip, but oh, there's other terms and terminologies for it. But that's where the top water uh, oxygen levels, the thermocline oxygen levels, and then that dead space at the bottom below the thermocline, it all starts to uh, stir together and kind of make a homogeneous oxygen level. What happens though is now you don't have a high oxygen concentration in a certain section of the water column. It kind of blankets it out across the entire lake or, or pond. So um, be aware you're going to start seeing a lot of the fish die off uh, the, the smaller fish that just can't hack it when the, when the air oxygen levels start to decrease in this turnover period. That being said, that's just a little added information uh, to keep your eyes on. <clears throat> so, but this is definitely the time to catch those fish that are feeding up and bulking up uh, before they send deep water um, while they're ready for their, their winter uh, haunts and their winter somewhat hibernation. They don't actually hibernate, they just slow down. Again, part of that uh, that, that fall turnover, the oxygen levels in the water get, get flattened out across. You don't have high oxygen, so they become more lethargic because they're not going to expend that extra energy because the oxygen levels in the water itself are, are a little bit lower. Um, so they're going to be more uh, advantageous to just target specific baits. Bulkier presentations in jigs, for example, uh, tend to work better because they're, they're more apt to expend a little energy to get a larger prize than just chasing slightly smaller jigs. So sometimes getting out of finesse right now in the fall transition and going to your larger jig heads and larger craws and larger paddle tail kind of swim baits, larger presentations are beneficial. All right, that all said, let's jump in the box. So we got our first item. Um, well, let me let me dig in here real quick because there is one thing we always tend to get in our MTBs. Yeah, I finally got it. The throwbacks. The throwback stickers. So we got our, our stickers, our decals. Um, you got your old Catch Co. Um, you got the old MTB sticker. Uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle sticker. The old MTB Catch Co. 
collab and biospawn that snake i always like that biospawn sticker all right there's that now item number one weston's hypno twist topic i was just saying last month most people in their september boxes got this i did not so now i've got the hypno twist i've, I've been interested in this so this is basically like your Teckle Sprinkler Frog, uh, Boot Tail Frog, meets um, the Whopper Plopper body. So you have um, a double treble, hard plastic bait with the Teckle Sprinkler uh, Frog's soft pliable rubber boot, or plastic, soft plastic boot. Um, this is really cool. I, I like this idea. This is a good concept of molding two different types of bait styles. You got your soft plastic and you've got your hard plastic bait. Um, I think this is probably going to work out well uh, for like a popping, twitching, more than just a straight retrieve gurgle. Although, of course, as a sprinkler frog uh, fisherman, you know the straight gurgle, straight retrieve. Uh, you find that nice cadence and uh, these tend to work really, really well. Uh, especially drawn over top of grass beds where you have submerged grass where the fish can be hiding out and you just go overhead with this. Um, it definitely tends to excel there in drawing fish up to the surface on that early morning, late evening top water bite. It's nice to have that. Uh, I was interested because I didn't get it last week or last, excuse me, last month. Um, so it's nice to have that uh, in the box this month. So the Weston's Hypo Twist is $16.99. Already starting off with a good size bait. Next up, Yozuri's Crystal Minnow Freshwater. So we got our Yozuri Freshwater bait. Let's <clears throat> see what we got here. Okay, always look for the red box. Yozuri Freshwater Crystal Minnow. It is a three and a half inch, quarter ounce, little itty bitty jerk bait. Again, if you're looking to match the hatch, the, the bait fish start pushing into those in coves. Um, this time of year, one of your best places to go is go up into creek arms, go deeper into your backwaters of your, of your lake reservoirs and your, your little, uh, the tributaries that feed in, the feeder streams. Um, that's where the bait fish are going to go up shallow, uh, they're going to push up in there. Again, it's a little higher oxygen content than going out into the main lake, in certain aspects of the main lake, and uh, that's where you can find a lot of the bait fish and that's where you're going to find a lot of the big predatorial fish at this time of year. So this kind of little guy, little rattler, nice little quarter ounce. Uh, again, it's a smaller profile, which is good, again, for that backwater, shallow water uh, place. This one, let's see what we got here. Uh, again, it's quarter ounce, three and a half. It's a floating, floating little jerk bait. So with this, I'd probably um, maybe go with a fluorocarbon uh, even though it sinks, it's a floating bait, but I'd like to put a little weight. I probably do braid with a small, short, maybe six inch fluoro leader. Um, this way, the, the fluorocarbon tips this nose down, and I can jerk it and get just that little extra bit of depth with each jerk and then let it float back up. Uh, don't overdo it. Don't do straight fluorocarbon and don't do a long leader because that'll just draw this way down and you'll lose that, that floating characteristic. You might actually turn it into more of a suspending bait if you overdo the, uh, the weight on the nose. That's $8.99. Pretty solid. Yozuri is always a great name brand. Next, from Castaic. Castaic's Super Jerky J. So, Super Jerky J. Let's see what this is. For $6.99, we've got ourselves a soft bait from Castaic. Uh, the color on this one is Baby Bass. And it's basically a soft plastic jerk bait. Uh, excuse me, sure, it's soft plastic fluke, but it's a segmented swim bait style soft plastic. So this on a nice little wide gap or, uh, you know, a nice little wide gap or even a belly weighted um, swim bait hook, a small, uh, probably works really, really well. It's got, uh, you know, it's molded in joints. It's not the, the uh, you know, slatted segments where it's corrugated like a, a worm would be, but uh, It'll definitely give you that extra whippy action. The tail isn't a fluke tail. It's actually, it's, it's amazing. It's almost like a snake's tail. It's uh, rounded on the top and it's concave on the bottom. It's, there's a little teardrop cut out on the bottom. So that's definitely going to suction in some water and probably hold a little bit of oxygen 
during the casting period so that when this first hits, you've got a little bubble of air in there that'll hold that tail up. So I can see that definitely helping out, um, uh, especially maybe as, it, as it's being swam and you're jerking it along and, and twitching it to get that erratic kind of swim bait motion out of the soft plastic bait. You'll get a little bubble, bubble trail as that uh, air pocket disperses uh, as you're working the, the lure. So that's really cool. I like this. I'm definitely interested in seeing how this works out. This is a good all-seasons bait right there. And baby bass, excellent, excellent color. Uh, now and then in the late spring, early summer, um, when the, the fry have hatched, now you're going to get those, both the cannibalistic larger bass and, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the mid-range bass that have hatched as well, the other hatchlings that'll eat each other. Good bait uh, to, uh, to catch during that, uh, that uh, hatchery period. So that's cool. $6.99 for the Castaic Super Jerky J. Next up, Trapper Tackle. Okay, I know this brand very well. All right, Trapper Tackle. We have standard round bend trebles. They're not round bend and they're not standard. Trapper Tackle uh, came out a couple years ago and they're a really awesome kind of concept. They're, um, they are giving us a quantity of eight size six treble hooks. So if you ever have any you know, treble fish lures that need uh, their hooks changed out for the season. Mystery Tackle Box is aiming to give me an 8-pack. So these are pretty unique. Uh, they're not the most unique. There are some other designs out there, certainly, that come out every season. Um, in, in hooks, in hooks, they have, their trapper, they have their trapper tackles trebles. They have the trapper treble, uh, trapper tackle, um, you know, regular... Uh, frogging hooks and they have uh, extra wide gaps and worm hooks and basically the design change on this is instead of having a round hook turn to the point the they actually kink and crimp a box cut into our box bend into the shank of the hook as it goes from the point down to the bend for the to form the gap and then it rounds off like an EWG uh, neat design in fact, Martise Lures, who did the custom, um, the custom uh, Whopper Plopper style bait that was awarded to my 500th foul mouth fishing subscriber. Again, congratulations to you! And I was very happy that uh, you sent me the picture of you and your kids enjoying that box. Um, so, and I hope you're, you've caught some monsters on that stuff, um, and can share it next year when uh, when this season kicks back in again and uh, catch some more monsters with all those baits I gave you. But uh, Martise used these uh, on that particular, uh, that particular custom bait for me, as well as some of the, the things he gave me as a gift. Um, he gave me an, an awesome jig that was hand-painted, but he also gave me a crankbait, and that crankbait had the trapper tackle um, squared off, boxed uh, hooks on that. So that was pretty cool, and I do like them. Uh, they are a bit, you know, gimmicky. Um, a hook's a hook, in my opinion, in the end, because you can basically, you can catch salmon in Alaska on a piece of yarn without a hook. Uh, you can catch, uh, you know, fish on a piece of, of twig uh, tied in the center just by catching them between their jaws, they clamp down. You don't, there's ways to survive, you know, even a cotter pin or a hairpin will catch a fish if you are inclined and, and, and need it in some survival situations. But uh, for us anglers that can afford to pick up hand, you know, crafted uh, hooks and lures and things. Trapper Tackle's got a, a nifty design, and it does work. It does lock itself into the, the plate and into the jaw of most fish. So even bony plate fish, um, this does get penetration where a lot of other ones will bend out or not, not connect, not get a good, good hook, hook penetration. So that's really cool. I'm glad to have those. Trapper Tackle's the 8 count for $6.99. <clears throat> Next, Z-Man Cross Eyes Power Finesse Jig. Again, Z-Man always has to have their uh, their Z in everything. That's their gimmick. Uh, David Walker Fishing, and this is a 2 aught Heavy Duty Mustad ultra, uh, ultra Point in a quarter ounce jig head in Candy Craw. Candy Craw. So basically that's like a green pumpkin, a little darker green pumpkin. Um... And it's got, you know, your purple and green and gold flake in it. It gives you that candy, that blue color. It's got a wire weed guard, or excuse me, a nylon weed guard. There's that. Um, it has the perpendicular 
line tie to the head. So you're not in line with the head, you're running perpendicular, not parallel with the head. Nice round ball head, good stand-up style. Stands up just like so. Um, I like that. Big, goofy, orange, googly eyes on it. Uh, personally, you know, when painting a jig head, I'd rather have solid colors. You know, they get banged up. They're, they're ticked off of rocks and off of shrubs and off of everything as cover, because that's where you get your most action out of these, is banging things off of cover. The idea of put painting eyes on jig heads, if it's not a swim jig, I don't see the point. Uh, flipping and pitching jigs, uh, football head jigs, casting jigs, um, I'd just rather have a solid tone and a very hardy, hard paint so that it doesn't chip off so quickly. Um, again, that Z-Man Power Finesse Jig, $4.99. Finesse jigs, shallow, really good time for that. Deeper water, even better time for that. Um, again, as the water cools, they're going to start slowly progressing into their deepest water uh, haunts for the winter. So in a couple more weeks or so, and if the snows start coming down, that's when you're going to start going to, if you have a dam in your lake or your, or your waterway, go up to that dam and get that low side, that, that vortex at the bottom there on the, on the uphill side of the, of the upwater side of that dam where it's deepest. You'll catch them there against the walls of the dam. Um, you know, your lowest point in your, in your water, that's where you're going to start hunting. Not right now. You can kind of get them anywhere, but uh, later on in the season, that's where you're going to want to go. Um, Next, from Carl's Amazing Baits, which is the uh, one of the Catchco brands, I have a Huscraw. Huscraw. I've had these in the past. I do like them. This one is Texas Craw. It's sort of like a PB&J, but with more green in it than, than purple. It's got the brown, but it's got like a greenish red gold hue rather than, uh, you know, the, the purple and brown. So, again, they always smell. <clears throat> so there's that brown tone on the back side. And then you have a candy color on this one um, with that gold and red flake that really pops. Um, they call it their Texas Craw. I've never been to Texas, so I can't tell you what color their craws are. Our craws here, we have those neon blue craws, uh, gold amber craws, obviously your, your regular natural green, pale, and gray craws, and the certainly the boiler red craws, the fire engine red craw, crawfish. Um, but if they say Texas Craws are kind of muddy brown with a little bit of gold and, uh, you know, and red flash to their, to their shells, hey, they would know better than me. So the Haas Craw in Texas Craw. Seven pack of these soft plastics by, uh, by Carl's is uh, $4.99 as well. That's pretty cool. Next, another thing. Now, this is great for this time of season. Definitely get out there with your spinner baits. Because if you have shad on your lake, um, this is where they're going to start chasing shad. Uh, and, and flash and flare and vibration, just like this. This is absolutely what I throw um, during this time of year. Well, all time of the year, actually. Uh, that's your key for, uh, for them schooling bait fish and then pouncing on those bait balls. Um, this is a Dobbins half ounce spinner bait. It, it comes in at 429 now, see, they have in here Dobbins Extreme Football Jig, but I got a Dobbins Half Ounce Spinnerbait. So I can't quote the 429. That's for their football jig. I have no idea, but I'll go on Shop Carl's and I'll leave in the list down, uh, down below the actual Carl's price uh, for the Half Ounce. In, uh, this is in Chartreuse Shad uh, for their Spinnerbait. And I will double check to make sure they're not screwing me on the extreme football jig, which I didn't get. Nevertheless, spinner baits are where I go. And since I did get that finesse uh, finesse jig, so I didn't get an extra jig in here. I, I don't mind. I have plenty of football jigs. I have plenty of jigs. So spinner baits, however, you can never have too many of these. I got plenty of these too. Again, I'm a hookaholic. I got a problem. <laughs> I got a lot of bait, and you've all seen that. Um, this is your willow leaf. Colorado combo, just like I like it. I've got the gold willow, so it, it's a muted flash. It's not too over the over the top. I've got a silver small Colorado, and that's going to add so much more thump in the water for that lateral line to pick up the location of these baits. Um, Chartreuse shad, great, great. With this, I would cut down a small 
V-tail fluke in white, pearl, silver, something like that, or uh, or even a um, you know a paddle tail Kitek in that you know pearlescent with silver flake. Throw that on here as your trailer, and it's bound to get it. Now with that with that gold Colorado on the back, I mean excuse me, the gold the gold um, willow leaf on the back, you can throw a gold or copper tone paddle tail on this and it'll it'll also help uh, you know match that that profile and that color scheme pretty darn nice always good again I will give you an accurate price tag on this uh, down in the description below as always I will timestamp the locations of each of these baits as I as I talk about them so that if you see something in that list just for future reference, or when you go back to any one of my videos, if you see something in that list that intrigues you specifically, say it be the uh, the Weston Swim or the next item I'm going to talk about, you don't have to watch the whole video if you don't want to. You can just skip to that specific timestamp and locate the uh, the item that you're most interested about, especially if it's something you got in your box uh, this year, last year, or what have you, and uh, you can at least get a little bit of my interpretation or my spiel on uh, ways to throw it or what you might think or not think to use it as. Next up after the Dobbins is a Cotton Cordell Super Spot. Again, that gold tone. So we got ourselves a rattle trap from Cotton Cordell. This is the half ounce um, standard rattle trap style. God, I love these boxes. Um, <clears throat> Cotton Cordell, I do like. They're, you know, they're a cheap brand, um, but I do like them. Far step better than the uh, you know your Walmart brand or your H two O Express. I will say is is kind of okay. Um, they've got those gold old old fashioned gold hooks that are pegged in the plastic. That's always fun. But uh, there's a good a good rattle in there. Quite a few BBs. Uh, if you ever have a chance, go online and see how they make the rattle traps. Um, you know the, the Bill Lewis rattle trap brand actually shows a great video. I might I might hunt that down and leave that in the description also below um, on how they actually build these. Um, the not the Cotton Cordells, but their actual brand. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's an amazing thing that these these handcrafted uh, or mostly handcrafted when it comes to Bill Lewis rattle traps. Um, pretty pretty intense. They have some really professional uh, you know. Smiths that that make these traps, um, not overly. I mean, it's a, it's a loud vibration. Uh, again, with that changeover in the thermocline, when the water's turning over and the water temperatures start to even out, and that water will homogenize amongst the entire uh, lake. Going with darker colors because it's going to be a muddy, muddy mess. Your your best way to know when that transition period occurs in your lake is when the, the water discolors. It starts to change. You'll just notice this massive shift. I'm sure at this point in the Northeast, it's already happened. Um, but you'll see that water go from the crystal clear lake that you normally would fish. And on a non-rain day, it's non-blown out. It's not the wind. All of a sudden, you just notice that your color is dingy, uh, amber color, tannic. Um, in my case, the other day, it was it was literally you know, uh, chocolate milk, um, without. But we did have some rain, so it was a it was a combination of factors. But that being said, that's a good uh, way to tell when that fall transition is starting to pick up. Um, and again, like I said later on, you'll start seeing some of the fish die off uh, as the ones that couldn't hack it and that didn't get enough oxygen, didn't move out and and adjust and acclimate quick enough will start to uh, slowly peel off. But that's okay, that's just unfortunate part of nature um, and part of the change in seasons. The Cotton Cordell Super Spot in that gold color um, is, let's see, what, do they list the color on this? I don't think they do on Cotton Cordells because I never really paid that much attention. No, they don't. They don't give me a color. So, see, I didn't, oh, it's fabricated in China. I know that Super Spot, that's just what they tell me. Okay, well, anyway, the Super Spot is $3.99. And finally, and this is cool, finally, we have some HP Hooks Eagle Claws Laser Sharp by Shaw Grinsley, or Grinsby. Uh, you get four, you get a series of eight hooks total. Mm. They have, again, one of the good things about Mystery Tackle Box is they try to give you uh, 
everything and anything. So it's, it, again, it gets you out of your comfort zone and opens you up to possibilities of different techniques and, and things. So we have here a series of these little tiny hooks. So they have a little bait keeper on the tail end, a um, little spring form bait keeper, which is kind of nice. Uh, I would probably, obviously, use these for drop shotting. Uh, I would use these for live bait. Um, they're not a bait keeper. They don't have the burrs on it like I personally like, but nose hooking minnows, uh, you know, little tiny uh, baby shad, you can nose hook them and fish these as a drop shot, live bait, uh, and, and these will definitely point up and hold on. So that's really good. Again, it's an eight pack, which is pretty awesome. And that's six dollars and forty nine cents. So pretty expensive, but still awesome. And that's the last item in this box. So just to run it down, the only thing left is a little card at the bottom uh, to go purchase, you know, order an OG uh, Mystery Tackle Box t-shirt. Um, a little explanation about the throwback stickers giving back to us uh, Mystery Tackle Box subscribers with some of their history. Quick rundown. The Weston Hypo Twist, $16.99. The Yozuri Crystal Minnow Freshwater, $8.99. Castaic Super, Super Jerky J. That's an awesome bait. I like that. That's going to be $6.99. Trapper Tackle. Standard round bend treble hooks in that box design. $6.99. Z-Man Cross Eyes. <coughs> the Power for Finesse Jig. $4.99. Carl's Amazing Baits Hoscraw, $4.99. The Dobbins, they gave me a spinner bait, but they list uh, on the card an extreme football jig for $4.29. I will give you the actual price of the, of the spinner. Cotton Cordell's Rattle Trap, the Super Spot, $3.99. And those Eagle Claw uh, Laser Sharp Shaw Grinsley Tournament Hooks uh, for $6.49. All right. So, I know this was a little bit long, but uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, finally, just to say, I'm not positive if I'm going to have the October Angler's Hall. Uh, I was charged twice, uh, another a, a fellow hookaholic, and um, I'm very happy. Thank you very much for getting in contact with me. Had the same thing happen to him, uh, where Angler's Hall charged, double charged. They charged the final day of last month and the first day of this month. So I contacted Angler's Hall uh, through their customer service. I said, I guess I wasn't as specific as I should have been because they mischaracterized what I asked. But I told them, hey, uh, basically, you've double charged me. I would like to be refunded the, the, uh, the amount of monies that went to the secondary charge um, so that I'm not overcharged. I asked, are we getting two boxes? Am I getting a September and an October? Am I getting an October and a bonus? Am I, or is it just a typographical error or an error on their system? And I think with all the terminologies I used, they misinterpreted because they refunded both charges. So because they refunded both charges, it doesn't bode well for me getting my, my box. As far as they're concerned, I didn't order one. Uh, so right now I'm just waiting it out. I will see if I do not get it, then next month I will go back and reorder and order the, set, the box for this month. I will get uh, another box if I don't hear from them soon. Uh, that being said... I've continuously tried to contact them, and I haven't heard uh, nor hide nor hair uh, response. So we'll see. It doesn't bode well. I am honest. I don't sugarcoat anything, and I'm always going to bring uh, my opinions are going to be honest. My purchases are 100% me. I don't get anything for free, so I don't have any bias that way. And I'm not going to going to uh, sugarcoat any displeasure with uh, you know uh, any sense of of, of loyalty. Uh, because I don't have any loyalty to any company. The only co a person I have loyalty to is the people who watch these videos and deserve a straight and direct answer and some hopeful hints and information that will help them uh, A, decide, and, and B, fish a little stronger, a little better, uh, if I can all, at all possible lend that expertise. Um, that said, we'll see. Uh, I'm not canceling the Angler's Hall. I actually do enjoy them. Uh, I enjoy getting things outside of Tackle because, as you've seen in past videos, I got a lot. I got a lot of tackle. <laughs> More so than any human being probably needs. It's like having a garage full of, uh, you know, 30 uh, supercars, but you only have two feet and 
one set of hands. You can only drive one car a day uh, or at a time. Why do you need all those cars? It's kind of pointless. But, again, technique it can be everything. You could be on a lake. If you don't have two poles um, or three poles out there, sometimes it puts you at a disadvantage. If you miss on a swim bait, on a swim jig, flipping in uh, a drop shot behind that can land the fish that you just missed. Uh, firing them up, firing up with top water, firing them up with spinner baits, and then going in with a jig or going in with uh, you know with uh, a, a, a spook or something um, when you miss on 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 the, the buzz bait, going with uh, you know with a spinner bait or uh, with an an A rig, uh, you can catch those fish that you might otherwise have lost on that first swing and miss. So having extra types of tackle, different varieties of colors, different varieties of, of designs and, and body contours uh, is beneficial even if it is uh, a headache and a half trying to organize it all. Uh, that all said, wishful thinking I will get an Angler's Hall box sometime this month. They'll get in touch with me and confirm that they are reinstating my shipment and giving it to me. Uh, but if not, that's where I stand, just to let you know. As always, for me to you, tight lines, be safe out there. Uh, stay safe this Halloween. Uh, keep the kids safe. Um, be careful out there, obviously, with this thing going around. We don't need to spread it and, and expand it even more. Uh, from me to you, be blessed, tight lines, and uh, peace, all you hookaholics. I'll catch you on the next cast.